Hello, good morning. In this video, I will tell you how to automate REST API with REST Sharp .NET C Sharp. So first, you need to add class library uh, .NET Framework, and then you need to add some Nugget packages in it. So I already have one project that, that is called REST API Demo, and in this, uh, I will show my um, Nugget packages. This, these are the installed uh, REST Sharp, JSON, and these are the test frameworks. So this is the step uh, from this is the process, and then we have to uh, add a new folder uh, that is uh, called DTO. So I add new folder, and folder name is DTO. In this folder, I need to, for example, uh, I want to automate APIs regarding the employees, so I need to convert this JSON response uh, into the C sharp class and for this we have many websites which automatically convert our uh, JSON uh, to the respective uh, class attributes so I just need to paste here and then just need to click uh, this so it will convert your code and uh, I basically uh, need this code for my uh, employee class so second thing I need to add my employee class here and uh, this is the employee class employee and then click just add here uh, this is the employee class and uh, employee class um, I need I just copy paste uh, uh, this attributes from here but uh, I already create a class employee class with all the uh, attributes so I just need to copy this uh, from this document to with uh, here so I will share all these classes with you and this is the uh, class uh, that I need uh, it so uh, like uh, you can see uh, we have data I name it as uh, data employee uh, that is the data here and uh, this uh, I will call as employee here so also we have uh, uh, some uh, root employee and uh, in the root employee I have some method like create employee and I have a method to get employee information so this is asking about REST API helper which is basically uh, call the request and get the response and uh, verify the content so uh, I need a REST API helper class so I just need to add one class here and for this class uh, REST API helper so this I added here and this helper class uh, you can find on the internet as well but I just need to paste code from this location to this place so this REST API class has many methods like set URL, create post, uh, create put request, get request and how to get response and how to deserialize like uh, uh, convert your JSON response into the C sharp object so I will show you when um, I execute my class and uh, then I need to add one class uh, for main execution uh, you can this name this class like main execution class in which you execute your test so this is my final class uh, that I need to add so this is very um, simple uh, we just need uh, three classes uh, here uh, first class is uh, the employee class uh, that I want to verify API for employees and the uh, second class is about REST API helper so these are the REST API helper and then the last class is about uh, main execution so uh, for uh, uh, further go down into the this section um, and uh, but I will just need to uh, debug here so this is the uh, get employee response so I just uh, uh, debug this uh, so you can 
see it uh, all these uh, path where uh, this code will go this is the parameter list sometime uh, like uh, this was not asking about the parameters query but sometime there is some parameters about the id and other name so, so this is uh, not a very good uh, api sometimes for example you will see like id equals to 1 in this case uh, you need this parameter list uh, right now my parameter list is null because uh, these are not asking about any other thing so I just uh, want to return the employee one information uh, so there is no parameter so parameter is null now and this is dummy API so it has some issues with it but uh, you can see other websites with good API's so you can uh, see this so I just click uh, F11 here here so I start my execution here and then you uh, I will call get employee details method and in this my me first method that will call is uh, it's a initialize rest API helper and then in initialize base URL and then it set URL so set URL is this dot base URL uh, so base URL is uh, something like dummy rest API is example and then it's combined with the endpoint so endpoint passing endpoint is API VI employee one and then it call rest client and a new rest client will be written then the second method is about get request so uh, this is the method in which uh, method dot get will be called and if your method is post then method dot post post will be called and this is the uh, time where the some um, header about the rest api request will be added and this is the parameter list uh, at this time my parameter list is null but if you have any parameter list like id name and some other query strings here so this uh, process or for loop add this query in the uh, uh, url url parameters so request will be returned from this point and then we have a response method and in this method my request will be execute and uh, I actually got a response so after this place you can see that uh, uh, it will show my response it will show that my request will be successful and then um, the final place is deserialization of JSON object like you can see this is the uh, uh, content which is uh, not in the which is not in the C sharp format so it will be converted into the uh, C sharp uh, employee or class so uh, we can able to access it easily so we have deserialization object through this method we can deserialize our So now my content will be returned and now you can see uh, when I uh, click this we can see this is the employee data that will be returned uh, with all the employee information but is the name but is the ID and same type thing we will have uh, we will uh, see this when we call this API here uh, like we have an uh, so this is not about this is just not a parameter this is a part of URL so I just click at the API call some batch request at the backend so just leave it uh, we already uh, like you can see we have some data uh, previously so it show that uh, first request will be uh, passed successfully and assertion will be passed and we will uh, see this okay the so second uh, method is about uh, how to create a uh, post request as you know that uh, post request contains a body uh, and uh, this body is uh, I will pass in the request so I will uh, just need to uh, I will add one endpoint here uh, so I will show you what did this request will do 
so uh, I just call uh, this create employee and this create employee class when go uh, goes into the create employee first you need a rest API helper uh, object will be called and base URL will be set so what is my base URL so you can see dummy.restapi.com and it will be added with the endpoint and endpoint is API vi create and this uh, uh, set URL return the method. Then we have a JSON object. This is the same uh, JSON object that you can see here. And uh, is the then we have a, a create post request method. And this create post request method uh, accept my header application dot JSON and then add parameter. Uh, body and uh, then return the request so we have uh, my request will be return return successfully uh, and then I execute my request and uh, my response will be return here uh, status code ok and everything and then I need to uh, deserialize my code from uh, JSON to T sharp so my content will be changed and now uh, this employer information will be written so this is the employer uh, that is created and uh, you can see that uh, this uh, is successful so this method is passed uh, clearly this is a very simple uh, uh, um, information that I will share with you um, I you can see uh, this code uh, I will share the github link and uh, you can also see my rest APIs and other videos it will be helpful for you thank you for watching this video